I am Adil Kumar sharing with you solution of a question for my student. This is on collinear points. We will try to understand the concept and find the points when they are collinear. The question here is consider the points A 7k, B 11 4 and C 13 1 minus 3k. Find the coordinates of the points A and C when the given points are collinear. A collinear points means points along the same line. So that is important to understand. Collinear means points along the same line. And how do you find that the points are collinear? The method is equate slopes to equal values. That is the method to do it. The concept is that if I have a point A and point B, then A and B will always form a straight line. How any other point P, for example, if it is along the same line, then the slope will be same but if it is not in that case the slope will not be same correct so we'll say a point p will lie on the line only if their slope is same right otherwise it may not lie so at times you may be asked a question to find value of k so that the point is not collinear right in that case don't use the value which we get here okay so that's the idea so let's begin by finding slope between A and B. So we can write slope M between A and B. Slope formula is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Now, <coughs> why did we select B? We selected B because B is totally defined. There is no unknown in B, right? That's the reason. In K and C, we have unknown point. Okay. So, 4 minus k divided by 11 minus 7. So we could write this as 4 minus k divided by 4. Now let's find the slope between b and c, right? Not between a and c, but b and c. So slope between b and c. This value of y, which is 1 minus 3k minus so in this case, see the value of y, this is your y2, this is your y2, this is y1, and here this is, uh, sorry, x1, x2, okay, this is your y1, and this is x1, correct? <coughs> x1, x2, y2, okay, let me rewrite, x2, y2, okay. So y value is 1 minus 3k, take away y1 which is 4 divided by x value of 13 x1 minus 11 so minus 3k and 1 minus 4 will give us minus 3k minus 3 over 13 minus 11 is 2 so that is what you get now what we have to do is since we know that both the slopes are same so now we will equate the slope MAB as equal to slope BC. So that will give us two equations. So we have 4 minus k divided by k equals to minus 3k minus 3 divided by 2. So at this stage you can actually simplify the equation also. You can divide both by, I mean the denominators can be simplified, dividing them by 2. You get 4 minus k over 2 equals to minus 3k minus 3, right? It's a good step to do. So I prefer to do this. And once you've done this, you cross multiply. So when you cross multiply, you get 4 minus k equals to 2 times minus 3k minus 3. So I hope this step is clear. 
So go through this step once again. We could simplify, even if you don't do it, then we'll land up with bigger numbers. But you'll get the right answer. Anyway, let's begin to continue. 4 minus k equals to, open this bracket, minus 6k minus 6. Now bring the terms together. So we'll bring the k's to the left side. Minus 6k becomes 6k. And then we have minus k equals to minus 6. Taking 4 to the other side is minus 4. That gives you 6 minus k is 5k. And that is minus 10. Or k is equals to minus 10 over 5. That gives you k as minus 2. So you have a value of k. Once you get the value of k, you can always substitute that back into the point. So a, which is given to us as 7k, can now be written as a is 7 minus 2, since k is equals to minus 2. So we get point a. To find point c, we are given 13 as x value. y value is 1 minus 3 times minus 2. So C could be written as 13 times 1 minus minus becomes plus, so 1 plus 6. Or you could write C as 13, 7. Is it okay? So we get our answer. The coordinates for point A are 7 minus 2. And that for C is 13, 7. So that is how you can actually find the points ensuring that they are collinear. So the concept is equate the slopes between any two points as same. Then you get the value of k. So that actually gives you an equation to solve which can help you get the value of k. I hope the concept is absolutely clear. You feel free to post your comments and suggestions. Share my videos and if you like, that would be great. Thank you and all the best.